Hi, I'm Mark Tool with 8020service.com. Today's customer service video question of the day is from Quora. The question is, why is customer service more important than the product or service itself? People love to build assumptions into their questions on Quora. They say these things as if we if it's if it's true and we all just know and assume this thing to be true. In this case, they assume that customer service is more important than the product or service itself. I'm not going to answer that question. I'm going to answer it slightly differently because that assumption is wrong. Customer service is not more important than the product or service itself. Unless you define customer service very, very broadly to the point where it includes the product and service and everything leading up to it, which is fine, and I do sometimes define it that way, but in, this, in the sense of this question, no. And I'll prove that in one word. I'll prove that to you in one word right now. You ready? Comcast. Anybody, anybody who's ever dealt with Comcast customer service knows what I'm talking about. They have among the worst customer service in all of business. I'm not the only person to say this. They made an entire episode of South Park about it with guys playing with their nipples and laughing at customers. They're also a massive company with tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions of, employ of uh, customers, I should say. How does this happen? Government enforced monopoly. Yes, but also because their product is damn good for what it is. Yes, we'd all like our internet to be 800 times faster, but with Comcast, you pay for a speed of internet, you get that speed or higher, typically. There are exceptions, people with bad wiring, whatever. I don't know about their TV or phone service because I don't use that stuff, but the product is good. And they're successful because of that and their government monopoly in the U.S. having only one cable company in any given area. Well, that maybe that's a bad example, but the point is they have the worst customer service in the world. If customer service were more important than product or service, then they'd be out of business. Even with their government monopoly, people would, I don't know what they would do, but they'd figure something else out or they'd whine to the government and get something changed. In any case, enough with that example. It's not more important. In fact, when you're doing business right, when you're running your business right, when you have a product and service and everything else correct, most of your customers will never deal with customer service at all. I'm not talking about a lemonade stand where you have to go give the coins to the little girl. I'm talking about real businesses, online businesses, services, products, anything from Amazon, Comcast, to me selling you an ebook about something, to uh, a guy that you're going to hire to do some copywriting, whatever it is. If it's a big enough company that they have customer service, anything with a product, I guess the, the copywriting is a bad example too. But anything where I'm selling you something through a website and you buy it and you order it and you receive it, you shouldn't have to talk to customer service, ever. I help businesses get customer service right and this is the number one thing that I tell them, the number one thing that I focus on with them is making sure that most of their customers never have to talk to customer service. That's why I said before I, I tend to define customer service more broadly than a lot of people. It does include the product, it does include the service itself, it includes the sales page, it includes the marketing, it includes everything leading up to the purchase decision, the product itself, and everything after that purchase, and if necessary, what happens when the customer has a problem and contacts the customer service department. That should be thought of as a last resort. You should do everything you can to avoid the necessity of that ever happening. When you do this, this question becomes even more absurd. What is the, why is customer service more important than the product or service? It absolutely isn't. I, I sell, I've sold ebooks to people. None of them have asked me, any, nobody's asked me any customer service questions about them. Uh, does that mean that the thing is shit because I haven't solves problems efficiently and in a friendly manner as some outsourcing company or AI chatbot company. As of yet, I'm surprised no one has spammed the answers on this thing with uh, garbage spam answers with comments saying to check out their AI chatbot. It's coming. I guarantee you by the time you watch this, it's probably going to be there. Um, so that kind of stuff. Customer service is more important than products or services it itself. You should sign up for my AI chatbot company because it is more important than the product or service itself. Yeah. That's who's going to tell you that this is... That's how... People like that are going to tell you customer service is more important than the product or service. People who want you spending a lot of time and energy and effort and when they're spamming their products, money. They want you spending a ton of money 
at, on your customer service, making it bigger, more complicated, more complex, more moving pieces. I need an artificial intelligence to pretend to be a guy in the Philippines to say, thank you, I, how can I help you today? They want to complicate it so that they can leech off of that complexity, take some fees, whatever it is they're selling. I'm not gonna tell you that. I'm gonna tell you that it should be simple. I'm gonna tell you that most of these people should never have to contact you at all. That's why I make these videos. That's why I write about this stuff. That's why I have the website, 8020service.com, the daily emails that go out about this stuff, telling people how to get customer service right. I've helped multiple businesses with this. I have a lot of experience in this area. And in almost no case is making more people talk to customer service ever the right answer. There are very limited scenarios where that may be the case. Really cases where customer service and sales kind of merges when you want someone to talk to someone who's going to persuade them of something. But just generally, um, we want you to have problems so that we can fix your problems and you can say we have good customer service. It's wrong. I don't want you to have any problems. I don't want you to talk to customer service any ever, ever. I don't want you to know anything about how I do customer service because you've never spoken to me with a customer service problem ever. And you never will. And you're happy with the product. You're happy with the service. You don't care about the customer service. You don't want to deal with that any more than I want you to deal with that. That's my answer to this question. I'll wrap this up here. So as always, if you like this video, thought it was interesting, useful, valuable, hit up vote, uh, thumbs up, subscribe, follow, all that stuff, depending if you're wa where you're watching this. I post these on YouTube and on Quora. This question came from Quora. If you have a question, you can ask me on Quora. You can ask me on YouTube. I do one of these videos every weekday, so you may see it in a future video. I may use it in a written answer. I write regularly on business and customer service questions here on Quora and again on the website 8020service.com, like the 8020 principle. Uh, so go there, get on the email list, and you'll get the updates for that. Otherwise, I'll wrap this up here, and I'll be back tomorrow with another video.